Let's take our next question that is question number 172. This question belongs to chapter wave optics and it's a simple question. In Young's double slit experiment, if the separation between the coherent sources is halved and the distance of the screen from the sources is doubled, then the fringe width becomes. So, it's a very simple and relation based numerical. Let's start solving. As per the formula, fringe width is given by lambda capital D by small d, where small d is the distance between the slits, capital D is the distance between the slits and the screen. So, as per the question, if I double the distance that is capital 2D and reduce the distance between the slits by half. So this, this would be 4 lambda capital D by small d that is equals to 4 times of original beta. So as we can see the fringe width has increased by 4 times. So among the 4 option number 2 is the correct answer. Let's move ahead to next question. Now question number 173. This question belongs to chapter thermodynamics. As per the question, there are two cylinders A and B of equal capacity and they are connected to each other via a stopcock. A contains an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure and B is completely evacuated. The entire system is thermally insulated. So there are two points where B is completely evacuated and the entire system is thermally insulated. That means First, the heat cannot enter or exit the system. Second, the process is going to happen suddenly because when you open the stopcock, the gas will rush from one side to another. So this is a sudden process. That's why this process would be adiabatic process. So answer to this question would be option number one. I hope you have understood this question. Now let's move on to our next question. Now this question number 174, it's an easy question with mass energy equivalence. As per the question, the energy equivalent of 0.5 gram of a substance is. So we can easily solve this by the equation E is equals to mc square. So it is 0.5 into 10 to power minus 3. Since it is in grams, you have to convert in kg into 3 into 10 to power 8 whole square. So answer would be 4.5 into 10 to power 13 joules. Let's see which is the best suited option. Yes, option number one is the correct answer to this one. I hope you have understood this question. Now let's move on to our next question. 